time for the Pepsi Max Local Comedian of the Week. After making the final several times, this next comedian won the latest Funniest Person in Columbus competition hosted right here at the Funny Bone. No, it wasn't Dino. Here's Chris Cohen. Man, I tell you though, I like to read the paper, keep up on things, but I read a ridiculous article. It was in the dispatch and it was titled, Straight people who like to hang out in gay bars. Uh, yeah, and then the quote, the quote that stood out to me was a guy said, it's like a normal bar, except there's more dudes in there. <laughs> I have never had a desire to have more dudes in a bar. I am, <laughs> this is a straight guy doing like, well, I'm just trying to listen to techno music and enjoy my Smirnoff ice. But all these annoying chicks keep trying to have sex with me all night. Where can I go? I gotta tell everybody, I like to get my news off the internet because I like my news quick and wildly inaccurate. <laughs> and I saw this story, it said the, the worst things to say at work in the first two were, it's not my fault and I got wasted last night. Which is ironic because that's how I greet people at work. Like, you're late again, Cohen. I'm like, it's not my fault. I got wasted last night. <laughs> Why don't you wake me up when lunch comes around? <laughs> I'll tell you, though, I do have a girlfriend. And we got to the point of the relationship, it's awesome, where you get the hypothetical questions all the time. Isn't that fun? <laughs> my girlfriend's like, how much weight could I put on before you wouldn't find me attractive? <laughs> One pound. Oh, they don't stop there. They kept going. It's like, well, how many people have you been with? I was like, what do you mean? Before we started dating or after? <laughs> you can't answer that question right. You might as well fun with it, right? I do like to work out. I do like to stay in shape, though, folks. And at the gym, there's only one machine I can't figure out until recently. It's the one where the old ladies put their legs in the stirrups and they do one of these deals. I think it's called the gyno press. <laughs> I finally found a use for the gyno press though, guys. What you can do is you can creep other guys out in the locker room. He's tying his shoe, you just come up to him naked and be like, hey there, Frank. Been doing the gyno press. <laughs> Check out my taint. <laughs> it is ripped, all right? <laughs> Looks like a hair-covered baseball. <laughs> oh, man. It's good everybody's having a good time tonight. Everybody's drinking tonight, having a good time. That's cool. I will say be careful. I get in a lot of trouble when I drink. And one thing I have learned from being arrested seven times <laughs> is that cops do not like me drunk as much as I like me drunk. <laughs> I will tell you, they're driving drunk's the worst. You gotta be careful, because the last time I drove drunk, I was so drunk that I hit a kid. And it was horrible. In my defense, it was two o'clock in the morning. That bastard was probably up to no good anyway. <laughs> yeah. In his defense, he was in his house when I hit the side of it. <laughs> Oh, man. I will tell you though, I recently got a new day job and I filled out the application and I didn't feel good about it. And I was asking my buddy the next day, I was like, man, what do you put for hobbies? He goes, just put what you do every day. I was like, I'm not putting that on a resume. <laughs> I do that and I drink every day. And drinking's not really a hobby, it's more of a lifestyle. <laughs> the thing about drinking is, drinking is not your hobby because you do other stuff when you drink and then that's your hobby. Like, for example, I thought it'd be a good idea to take off all my clothes and tuck my junk between my legs and go up and knock on my neighbor's door. I was like, have you seen my penis?
Like, oh, never mind, here it is. If anybody can put that into words, oh, I'll give you a dollar. Uh, I gotta tell you though, uh, has anyone here ever stayed in a bad relationship just because the sex was good? Anybody? Yeah. Uh, there's some ladies looking nervous right here. I gotta tell you though, I stayed in a bad one night stand for three weeks because the sex was good. Yeah. There's one thing, though. You find out people that are crazy in the sack are also crazy when they walk around and live life. <laughs> I will tell you, though, I'll leave you on this one. You know, I was talking about women's questions. And, and for guys, the worst time a woman asks you questions is during sex. I was having sex with this one girl, and she was like, will you respect me in the morning? I was like, I don't respect you now. <laughs> You're having sex with me, for God's sakes, you whore. This one time was the worst, so this girl was asking me all kinds of dumb questions, ridiculous questions like, who are you? <laughs> and how'd you get in my house? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Find out more about Chris at myspace.com slash Chris Cohen. That's all the time we have for now, but please tune in next week for comedian Mike Brody. Plus, see Pepsi Max Local Comedian of the Week, Dean Masella. Until then, I am Dino Tripodis from Dino and Sean in the Morning on 94.7, Sunday 95. And I'm Leslie James from CD101, the Alternative Station 101.1. And this has been Live from the Funny Bone. That's my dramatic take on it. You like it? Love it. <laughs>